Hey, what's up? I'm here, the Traveling Tarot. Hello there, my beautiful viewer. I'm here, the Traveling Tarot, with your messages from Spirit. I wanted to go ahead and just do a collective read to see what messages come out and what messages resonate for the people who find the video. I've been incredibly busy putting together some wonderful things that are going to be coming out for you guys, um, but I definitely don't want to forget about the reads. I just have not had time to jump into the individual reads yet. So um, this message is for anybody guided to find the video. Um, and they can resonate anytime you found the video. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what messages Spirit wants to provide. Spirit, what information can I give the viewer that will be valuable for them? What information, just one or two cards that will be valuable for the viewer? that will help them and help guide them and navigate whatever they're living right now. Okay, so the first card that we got is paint the sun back in your sky, okay? And that is the 11 card, which does break down to two, so it is about balance, and it is about um, maybe some type of a partnership, but most importantly, it's about bringing balance into your life, okay? Um, and also you about duality, so blending both aspects of you will be a wonderful way to bring balance back into your life. So um, that is the first card that we get, viewer. So uh, maybe some of you guys are dealing with something or have been feeling not wanting to go out, not wanting to be a part of society, and you know, sometimes we go through that and that's okay, but Spirit just wants you to know that it's time now to start to paint that sun back into your sky. Find things that are going to make you feel good, okay? And then we even have swim away from this situation at the bottom of the deck. So whatever is keeping you feeling like you don't feel like um, interacting, Spirit is saying swim away from this situation and um, go towards the sun, okay? And that just means finding things that are going to make you feel better, viewer, okay? And I want to give you a big hug because I understand with the ebb and flow of energy how sometimes that ebb can feel, when, you're, when you've been in the flow, how sometimes that ebb can be kind of painful, okay? But Spirit is saying walk away from the pain and move towards the sun and you will find your happiness and warmth there, okay? And then uh, we do have take a chance on them. So maybe this is something that you, um, another option that's better for you, whatever that means to you. Um, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a person, but it could be an opportunity. It could be a new job. It could be something that is going to help you bring the sun back into your life, okay? Because we did get swim away from the situation which still showed up at the bottom of the deck so what other information uh, would be helpful for the viewer spirit from this deck that will help them navigate whatever situation is on their mind okay yeah you don't need someone to fix you this is heavy on a situation that is making you that is making you feel uh, not so much disconnected because that's a little bit too strong of a word, but it's making you feel like you don't want to be a part of things right now. And um, Spirit wants you to know that you don't need someone else to fix you. You don't need other people's approval to fix you. In fact, that's one of the... Uh, I've been using this deck quite a bit because I'm going through that transition where, um, you know, I'm reinventing myself. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to go through things that maybe I'm not all that comfortable with, but um, it is going to give me the growth and the movement that I need and, I, and understanding momentum and this new direction that I'm going in, I want to be that and I'm okay with being that, okay? And then, yeah, so Spirit also wants you to know before I put this deck away that justice is coming, okay? So don't look at this person as a way to fix whatever it is because, A, 
you're not broken, okay? You're not broken, and Spirit definitely wants me to portray that to you. You are not broken. So that's the number one reason why you don't need to be fixed. But you definitely don't need someone else to fix you, okay? You get to choose, and when you shift your perception to what you want, you will be able to see that it is about you choosing what you want, okay? But Spirit does want you to know that justice is coming, the sun is coming back into your sky. So whatever this chance is, if you have an opportunity or something that's popping up, as, the, as you see the Take a Chance on Them card, maybe you might want to look deeper into it and do a little bit more research. Obviously, use your intuition. Don't do anything, obviously, that, that, you know, untoward because we're just living in a time where the veils are being torn down. So if it's anything that doesn't feel right, then be over it. <laughs> okay. What other information can I give the viewer spirit in regards to whatever situation is on their mind and how they can navigate this energy and, you know, you know, just exude the best version of themselves in the highest the highest energy here. Okay, so the, the card we have is unconditional love, okay, and this is about, it says blueprint, unconditional love. So yeah, this is about, and there's a heart in the picture, okay, so you, the way to do this is love unconditionally. Love yourself unconditionally, really, because with this, this what I'm feeling of someone not needing to fix you and you needing to swim away from something and painting the sun back in your sky, oftentimes that means a confidence hit based on just what I've lived. And, um, you know, it does take some doing to, you know, uh, get back into the unconditional love of yourself because that's really the only way that you can exude unconditional love to others, okay? And then we also have peace. So that unconditional love is going to bring in the peace that you're seeking there, uh, my beautiful viewer. And, you know, because this, this shows up and I'm, what's really standing out is just take a chance on them. Something is telling me that this is going to bring in some type of peace and paint the sun back into your sky, but it is going to start with you loving yourself unconditionally because, look, we all have taken a hit, and I think the point is to get us to understanding that no matter what else is going on, we have the power to love ourselves and we have the power to believe in ourselves, and the highest power is really the only thing that matters. That's the thing that's going to make things happen. What other people think doesn't really matter. Okay? That's beautiful. I love connect, showing up at the bottom of the deck along with vision. Okay? Connect to your vision. Spirit wants you to know that through this unconditional love, you are going to be connecting to your vision of not only what's possible, but of what you actually want. This is why you got to swim away from that other situation. Because staying stagnant in that situation sometimes can shield you from seeing what's truly yours. But Spirit wants you to know your vision is coming into focus. Take a chance. This is what this actually did show up. Out on. Take a chance on, these, on, on, on them, okay? Um, there is some type of a gateway. And then we have Abracadabra showing up with the connect. So there is some type of a gateway here that you'll need to tap into once you are able to move yourself away from or out of whatever situation that is making you feel less than, incapable, no confidence, any of that low vibrational stuff. Okay, my beautiful viewer? What other information can I give the viewer in this? In fact... I, I, when I started this read, I was thinking I'm going to call this new series if I, you know, maybe start a collective read or something called the I Don't Know Who Needs to Hear This. So, you guys, I don't know who needs to hear this, but your vision is coming into view. You don't need someone else to fix you. Just love yourself unconditionally. Tap into your heart's desire and your soul and your vision. Take a chance and allow that sun back into your sky, okay? Can I get one more card for the viewer spirit and that can oop, there we go. Let me grab that for you guys. Nurture. 
nurture. Yeah, you guys, it's time to take care of yourself. It's time to put the work that you've been putting out to either hold this situation together because, look, silicone is showing up, which, you know, we see a beautiful crystal in this, but also it's, it's, really, it's really a dual meaning here because silicone can represent Silicon Valley, which is innovation and, you know, technology and things like that. But silicon, what's popping out to me is fake. Because silicon can also mean fake. <laughs> so you take that as it resonates. But Spirit wants you to know that it's time to nurture yourself. It's time to release yourself from anything that makes you feel like you need to be fixed or need to do some fixing. Okay, my beautiful viewer? I'm just going to pull a few more oracle cards um, because I do, since this is just a collective read, I want to give you guys something in depth that can help guide you to and through whatever, you know, whatever's on your mind. You have action and courage and beginnings showing up. This falls out on the unconditional love because that is what it brings. But it does take action. And it came out on this um, paint the sun in your sky again. Okay, you're going to have to take some type of action on here. And yeah, it's going to take courage. But remember, you're taking a chance. You're taking a chance because your vision, you're at the gateway of that vision right now, okay? You're nurturing yourself because you're realizing that you don't need someone else to fix you. You don't even want to, you don't even want to hear that noise, okay? And if you don't feel that way yet, just know that you will get there, okay? The more you love yourself, you, the more you cut away things that no longer serve you, the more you see it. But you know, I also want to be clear about we are living our perception of life, okay? So if you perceive yourself as someone here, and this really hit me hard the other day when I was listening to another reading from someone that I listened to. Um, she was like, your perception that you're here to, to focus on things that don't work and release them is what's keeping you in that pattern. Okay, understand what I'm saying. Our focus that we're here to cut away what we don't want leaves us focusing on what we don't want. Instead of shifting a perception just a couple of ticks to, I'm here creating and enhancing what is working and adding to what is working. Literally that little shift right there will shift the energy from what's not working to what is working and that changed the game for me when I heard that okay so the cards that did fall out we got rebirth and winter okay that's what I was saying some of you guys are in this new beginning um, and it may have been kind of feeling a little cold a little wintry and maybe that's the reason why you guys have just kind of been staying inside because that's kind of what people do during the winter they kind of butt, they batten down and they get warm and they stay inside and, and things like that and, and Spirit is saying there's a rebirth coming you see how this winter is here this is your current energy right now okay but as you hold to your vision you have that fire coming in to melt that snow and get you moving okay and then there is some type of family uh, commitment or home. Maybe you guys are focused on this, okay? But Spirit is saying, right now it's the time to nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Um, give yourself the unconditional love that you seek. And that's going to bring the sun back into your sky, my beautiful viewer, okay? And as I, as I put this deck down, the bottom of the deck we have release, surrender, and purge. This is the time to do that, okay? This is the time to swim away from whatever, any, not that one situation, because there might be multiple. Swim away from those situations that make you feel less than, that make you doubt yourself, and that make you want to stay inside. And step into this rebirth. Take the action. Have the courage that is needed to step into this new beginning but you can do it by surrendering because that's the work sometimes so whatever that means to you you know take it 
Now I am going to pull one of these before I jump into the tarot because I love these Divine Timing Oracle cards. They sometimes give us a little insight into, you know, when we can expect some type of shift or when we can expect some type of change or when we can expect the answers that we're seeking. So what information would be helpful for the viewer spirit in terms of their question? Okay, so <laughs> I have to go get that card, but I can see here that it says within a couple of months. So hold on. I mean, I'm sorry, it says next month. Okay. <laughs> so, next month, you guys, next month is when you guys are going to see some type of rebirth because that jumped right out in my psyche here. Some type of rebirth. You're going to be going out of this winter into some type of action, okay? And really, within the next couple of days, you guys are going to be able to see something. So over the next couple of days, really do what you can about releasing yourself from those things that make you feel lack of confidence. Disconnect yourself from that low vibrational energy. And next month, you guys are really going to be seeing some type of movement or action towards what you've been asking for. Thank you, Spirit. I love you so much. All right, let's jump right into the tarot. Let's see what information Spirit wants to come up with, which, out of the gate, patience. You're in a gestation period, okay? And I know that that gestation period can feel kind of crazy and it can make you feel like you're crazy, but hang in there because it's, the more faith that you have, the more you're nurturing and the more you're expecting your harvest. And look, we got next month. So you guys may, the more that, here's the thing, the more that you stay connected to the energy, the more you are going to see this movement, this movement in real ways, okay? What other information do you want to give the viewers that will help them? Yeah, yeah, time to make a plan, guys. It's time to discover new aspects of yourself, most importantly, because that's what jumps out the most. I love, oh, yeah. <laughs> along with the page of wands okay maybe you guys have some of you guys have been doing it okay because the page of wands is ready it, it is focused in this direction and that's it okay maybe you guys have been making some plans but if you haven't it's time to discover new aspects of yourself and make plans towards experiencing those things okay but with the page of wands coming out it's showing me that you guys are ready to step out you guys are starting to feel a little bit more confident and that confidence comes with unconditional love and that's going to move you away from that situation or those situations and move you into this rebirth, okay? So I love seeing this two of wands because the two of wands is all about you've received the inspiration and now you're making a practical plan and you're ready to explore new things and you're ready to... Um, Explore new horizons. Okay, so I love that so much. Thank you, Spirit. What other information can I give the viewer as they make this plan and as they step into this rebirth and what they can expect for next month? What information can I provide? Ooh, you guys, as soon as I said what you guys can expect for next month, the Nine of Cups popped up. The Nine of Cups flipped over with wish fulfillment. So I'm telling you, if you stay on this path of inspiration and planning um, and expectancy, most importantly, viewer, if you do that, wish fulfillment is coming in next month, okay? And you're going to know, you're going to know, okay, you're, you're in this period of rebirth because judgment represents discernment, obviously, but it also represents resurrection and rebirth, okay? Hearing the call, answering the call healing yourself with that with that red plus there um, by answering the call okay wow that's actually pretty dynamic you guys and then we have the light being shined your intuition false foundations are being torn down based on this new perspective that you are bringing in their viewer okay and when I said next month what can they expect next month the nine of cups jumped out okay so please go through the rest of your days 
expecting some type of wish fulfillment, okay? Do what you can to nurture yourself. Find yourself some unconditional love. Face that shadow side because it's, once you shine a light on it, you'll realize it's not nearly as bad. And our thoughts are always going to make it worse than it is than just facing the situation, okay? Can I get one more card, Spirit, for them? And um, can, that can give them some more information. Thank you so much for this wish fulfillment that's coming in for them next month, Spirit. I'm really eager to see. And if you guys do experience some type of major wish fulfillment, please make sure to comment. Actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and take that Eight of Cups, too. Yeah, you guys, that's... That, you, first of all, you saw me shuffle and the moon jumped right back in there, okay? And this has to do with whatever it is you're, you're meant to swim away from. So yes, this has been a painful experience. Maybe you guys are experiencing some type of re rejection or loss or disappointment, okay? But this card also represents healing. So this moon shines a light on ways to take this, he this energy here and use it to lift you higher. And you do that by walking away with the Eight of Cups jumping out as well by walking away and we have the moon in this in this card as well and eights typically represent um, mastery of self but you see the soon the, as soon as you walk away into the unknown you step into this wish fulfillment okay because you did have the nine of cups showing up so you step into this wish fulfillment that you've used this energy to lift you higher and you faced your shadow self by answering the call Okay, so Spirit just wants you to know that you guys are on the right track. One of the things that really blares loud and clear is that embrace this rebirth. Let whoever and whatever go. Let whoever and whatever think, say whatever they want to say. You just keep doing what you need to do to hear Spirit clearly. Okay? Nothing else matters beyond that is the truth. Okay? If you want true guidance, you got to tune out those other voices. I am going to pull a couple of more cards here. I want to keep this one, you know, under 30 minutes if I can. But like I said, with it just being a collective read, I want to try to get as many messages in there as I can. Is there any other parting messages you want to give the viewer spirit in regards to whatever situation is most on their mind? that will be the most helpful and that will help them step into whatever transition they're living or in with confidence. Okay, yeah, you guys, this is what makes sense is that this energy that you are walking away from is very, very much Five of Pentacles, okay? It, it feels that way because any time you're stuck in some type of a loop, you're focused on lack. And you're focused on shortage and that's not to down anybody but fives represent change okay it may be a challenging change but you are ready for the change so whenever this card shows up I prefer to see the assistance like that like that um, three of swords that we saw we are healing we're using these old patterns to lift us higher because if you stay focused on this energy, this lack, poverty, hardship, scandal, whatever, feeling even feelings of even injustice, you're going to miss this wish fulfillment only because you can't vibrate in the same frequency. This is high vibrational stuff here. So Spirit is saying bring, as a matter of fact, this is perfect for the sun to show up, and this came out on the bring the sun back into your sky. This is showing me that you're still a little bit focused on that, that, on that lack or that loss or whatever happened. Bring the sun back in your sky with the sun showing up at the bottom of the deck. Can I get one or two more cards for them, Spirit, that will help them navigate? And then I'll send you guys off with some self-care cards. I'm so thankful that you guys are here, and I do hope something resonates with you, and I do hope that these messages are helpful because... Um, Again, I love doing them for you, and it really helps me know that it's valuable. So I appreciate any likes, or shares, subscribes, 
And any, you know, time that you guys want to comment, it's welcome. Okay. Yeah, no, the, the, t the tower. So, yeah, look. If you are finding it hard to make whatever change is necessary, not to frighten anybody, but the tower is going to come in to bring you some type of revelation. It may be a physical change. Sometimes it does mean upheaval. But all of it is meant to bring you to a revelation or a breakthrough or some clarity. Maybe it's going to happen between this situation that you need to walk away from. That's typically how it works. I've had situations where I knew it was too long for me to still be in the situation. And the heat got turned up until I finally had to see it. <laughs> okay? So don't freak out about this tower. And honestly, if you do the work, then it won't feel like a tower moment. It'll feel like a revelation, okay? So just keep that in mind. And yeah, something that you f you're feeling bound to with the devil showing up. Can I get one more card for them, Spirit, and some self-care? Because you guys do have that wish fulfillment coming in, okay? So just... Hold true to that and just know that whatever that is that came to mind when he said you can feel it's time to go, it's time. It's time to wrap that up. And, um, yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up. It's time to wrap that up and get grounded, okay? Queens represent being grounded. And she is the master manifester, okay? She is about earth. She's about abundance, she's about focus, and she's about rapid manifestation with those rabbits there, okay? So, you can do this, okay? You have to get grounded, you have to be focused, you have to get practical, and you have to, you don't have to do anything. That's why I hate saying have to, but you, if you want to live a happier life, you have to figure out how to release this energy right here. And this doesn't just have to do with money because lack comes in the form of lack of time, lack of friends, lack of ideas, lack of feelings, lack of motivation. Okay? So as you're planning this new beginning and loving yourself more, my beautiful viewer, focus. Focus the life that you want into being and expect wish fulfillment and you will see it next month, okay? Uh, we have, look, this, j just, for, just to confirm what I said, this card's about giving and receiving. If you stay open to receive and open to give, gifts are coming in and that is, that could do, have to do with that wish fulfillment into next month, okay? So I'm just going to give you guys a self-care card and um, send you on your way and send you the most love and hugs that I can get through a video. Okay, some of you guys might need to go get a health checkup and just make sure everything's good. This is not to scare anybody, but this is it's always good to bring an awareness to things that may that you may be able to take care of. And it says flow like water, okay? Expect good things. Expect good things. We also have alone time showing up, okay? So it might be a good time for you guys to spend some alone time figuring out how to release the things that are making you doubt yourself and not love yourself in the way that you mean to, okay? I am M, the Traveling Tarot. I'm so thankful that you guys are here with me. I love you. Take care of each other. Peace.